Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the more uh, the most gracious, the merciful. Alikul Tarawan. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Our dear members, Sudanese of uh, Sudan Research Knowledge Forum. Uh, all our greeting. Good morning to everybody. Uh, I'm deeply sorry, just uh, within the last period, I have, I've been hiding a little bit. And that's is life, as everybody knows, as everybody knows that. Uh, first of all, we have had like a hack attack on my, uh, on our Facebook group. And then in the same time, just I had like uh, some personal issues. Therefore, just have been disappeared a little bit. Uh, today topic is going to be like about it's going to be like about building coherent progress and if you can remember I just want to test that if the voice is clear and everything is okay let me check Uh, it seems like the voice is okay. I've got to check that actually. Otherwise, uh, it seems like everything is not going to be clear then. The voice is okay. Okay. So, our topic today is about an important thing in writing in our advanced writing course. Uh, and this important topic is about building coherent or building sentence coherent or building a paragraph coherent. First of all, in English task or in English writing, you will be assessed in two things. Uh, in terms of your topic relationship, one of those two things is uh, cohesion. So how your paragraph or how your sentences are linked together, cohesiveness. Uh, therefore, so are you using the right? Uh, are you using the right tools like the linking word, but and however, all those together, and how your sentences have been built, and how are they built, and if they are built in a good way and then you link them together. This notion in English is called, is called cohesion. The sentence is cohesion. Therefore, the second thing uh, that you will be assessed on is coherent. Uh, coherent, that is mean your sentences are, are not out of the point. If you're talking about a specific topic, all the sentences that you bring or that you write should follow or it should explain what is going on in there in, rela in relation to the topic. It's not outside the context of the topic. But if you speak outside outside the context of the topic, that, that will, uh, will make your, your paragraph is not coherent. And that's a big problem in English. Probably you can start about the topic and then your reader will get lost while you're doing that. So as we share, so uh, generally in English, uh, because generally in academic writing, because academic writing needs to focus ideas and control how information develops and convey logical arguments. You must develop a strong paragraphs skills and effective written paragraph achieves a special quality called coherence. Coherence occurs when all of the sentence 
in a paragraph related to each other in a logical way. That what I've explained. A paragraph must must perform a particular and particular task similar to the sentence. It organizes information in a logical fashion so that the reader feels that a complete point has been conveyed. Uh, it should be it's complete a complete point should be should be should be transformed to the reader so the reader can understand what your point about your writing. In order to accomplish this task, a paragraph group's sentence should belong together, should belong together in a way. They will belong, they will belong together if they are relate, if they if they all relate, if if they all relate to a main topic in some way. And that will that will necessitate that will necessitate that will necessitate a notion of introducing a key sentences topic so you can follow after that. This is the technique that we will speak about now, or we're going to talk about now. A paragraph loses a degree of coherence whenever you add information, which should be is no clear relationship to other material in the paragraph. If you omit an important point, or if the sentence do not follow, do not follow what, do not follow the logical, the, 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 do not follow the, the logic. Uh, therefore, since a paragraph should explore any uh, only one main topic, including a second topic, will will in, invariably introduce uh, a sense of uh, of incoherence. A simple way to focus or to focus and control a paragraph's information is to construct a topic sentence. This is the technique. Uh, first of all, you can you can construct a topic sentence, and that topic sentence, so you can come whenever just you write you uh, you write you, you write, so you can come back to this topic sentence. So the meaning cannot go or can cannot be excluded from this topic sentence. So you can create first a topic sentence as your first reference. And then from there, yes, you can you can start writing around this topic sentence. For example, by exploring some examples, by uh, giving extra information about this topic sentence, by uh, by what, by contrasting, by doing a lot of stuff actually around one sentence. After that, just this is the technique how you can construct that that topic paragraph or the paragraph. So you can start with the sentence, and then after that, with that sentence, you can go through. You should never underestimate the importance of a good topic sentence for ensuring that the paragraph achieves some degree of coherence. You must, uh, you must therefore always consider carefully the work that the topic sentence must do for the paragraph as a whole, okay? Most importantly, it should allow you to open up to open up and develop all of information of the information that you want to include in the paragraph if the topic is too limiting too vague or too general you will then find it much harder to pull the information together into a coherent paragraph therefore let us go through this example. So, like examples, the Gulf Wars have shown the need for better diplomatic strategies. I can see there is, I've highlighted some key words here the Gulf Wars dogmatic strategies, okay? And then the second sentence is Shakespeare wrote many plays. The third sentence is the, the failure, the key failure of government education has been it is refusal to increase funding. The war is going well. 
okay, observe those four sentences. And if you observe them well, there is something you can say about them. Examples uh, A, sentences A and C provide enough topic information for the writer to open out the discussion. So in order to open out your discussion and to add extra information, we, the, the course designer thinks A and C are the best one or one of the best one, one of the best examples. So the topic information indicate the focus of the discussion and provide the scope for writer to develop a range of relevant information to produce a coherent program. You might consider how much and how, what, what kind of work you should have to undertake in order to make examples B and B work as topic centers. So example B and D are not a good example of a key sentence or a beginning sentence for your program. The lack of topic information means that focus and control will be a major challenge and outcome and the outcome is unlikely to be an effective program. A good strategy for achieving coherence is to start a program with a sentence. One benefit of this strategy is that it is, it signals immediately to the reader the, the main topic of the program of the program. A second benefit, so that, that's one of the one of the benefit uh, because we have two benefits for what for for starting a sentences by a key center to starting a program by a key sentence one benefit of this strategy is that it signals it signals immediately to the reader the top the the main topic of the program and then the second benefit means that you can return to the program's first sentence if you become confused as you write okay we have, okay, let us go and see one of the good examples of a sentence coherent. Okay, that's fine. Therefore, let us, let us start. Okay, learning is often one of life's most distressing express, uh, experiences. Okay, this is our, our, our opening program sentence, our key program sentence. We're talking about learning, it is a distressing or stressing or whatever. Therefore, whatever is gonna follow is gonna add extra meaning to the first sentence, but it can convey a new information as well. But in, in, in the it follow follows the same logic. It is it is embarrassing and painful to be control confronted by tutors who trample brutally upon our intellectual insecurities. Okay, that, that, that's in relation to what? In relation to the first sentence or in relation to learning is often one of the most distressing experience. It is embarrassing and painful to be confronted by tutors who tremble brutally upon intellectual insecurities. Even, even if we need their challenges to motivate us to seek new ideas and new knowledge so that we can develop the confidence to defend our views. You're not outside of the logic, still you are there and it adds a new information for you. Our dream of scholarly success. Number one, a pleasant and essential fantasy often becomes a nightmare when we realize that we lack both the will and the discipline to study hard and even worse than the spoiled fantasy is the shame that we experience when an essay which we submitted with great confidence and expectation receives a low mark the low mark then blinks us into feelings of confusion, despair, and self-loathing, leading to 
a hatred of books. Oh. We can see here, all those sentences are linked together in a coherent way. You are not out of the context. The paragraph maintains coherence because it is it, it begins with a clear topic and all of the sentences follow logically or naturally from it. The topic as it were, provide the spring springboard to the rest of the matter that followed. You should notice too how this paragraph mixes non-restrictive and restrictive information. If you can remember that from last meeting, although a good topic sentence is essential to, to good paragraph coherence, it is easy to lose your way. It's easy to lose your way. By starting the second sentence, you will see the second the second paragraph, this, the other paragraph is not going to be like in a logical way. It's not linked in a logical way. And then in the same time, it's not, uh, it is, uh, although the, 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 the paragraph is cohesion, it's cohesively linked, but it is not coherent. Why? Because it lost its degree of, of coherence. Therefore, so uh, we, see, we will see this one now. We see this now. So this is the first one. This is the first one. We say it, everything is okay because it begins with a sentence. And then all the other sentences are, are having the same meaning, are not far from the first sentence because it follows the logic. And it explains more information about this one. And remember, uh, we say it A and B above the other, the examples, or A and D. We say they are not following the, the, the A and C are following the logic because it can be expanded. But Shakespeare wrote many plays, or the war is going well. All of those you can you can expand them. And you need like a lot of effort to expand such sentence. But if you have a sentence like this one, the goal for have shown the need for better diplomatic or the key failure of government education policy has been its refusal to increase funding, to increase funding. And in the same time, we have started here following two examples. Learning is often one of the life's most distressing experience in which way it is embarrassing and painful to be confronted by tutors who trample brutally, who trample brutally upon our in, in, in intellectual insecurities. Even if we need their challenge to motivate us to seek new ideas and, the, and, and new knowledge so that we can develop the confidence to, de to defend our views. Our dream of scholarly success, a pleasant and essential fantasy uh, often becomes a nightmare when we realize that we lack both the will and the discipline to study hard. And even worse than the spoiled fantasy is the shame that we experience when an essay which we submitted with, with great confidence and expectation receives a low mark, etc. So we have these sentences are linked together as we explained and everything is okay with this paragraph. Remember, if you're writing like a, a long, long essay, which is called dissertation or a long, long essay, like long report or long article or anything like that, or a research, in a research manner. So you will write so your program, it could be ending up in this way. And I can, uh, for the, the word count for this program probably is gonna be like more than 100 and something. That's one program. Or, e or even sometimes it's 200, 250 or something like that in one paragraph. Therefore, you don't want your, your reader to get lost while they're reading your, your, your topic, and you don't want them to get lost, uh, to lose some information. Always you can retain them, as we can see later on, which technique you can use to, to keep your readers, you, to keep your readers, uh, to keep your readers uh, not lost actually from, from your point, the point that you try to raise, you, you, you are trying to raise to them. Therefore, let us go for the second one. So the key failure of the government education policy has been it is refusal to increase funding. Okay. 
we can see the, the beginning of the sentence is very good. It's more than very good, excellent. This is the problem topic. However, teachers are living in roughs. This can change the entire meaning of the, 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 the key sentence because it's not following the logic. This way, the, the, the writer has lost ca, ca, the degree of, of coherent or clarity of or clarity of the readers. You will get lost from here. Lack of investment is destroying the sector, just like with transport. <laughs> Another example, just with like transport. Here, he's completely diverted from, from what he wants to do. Where, where the trains never run on time and prices are too high. Buildings are in ruins. The government has ignored hospitals as well. Meanwhile, government ministers are jetting all over the world. If I can read this paragraph, which is a short paragraph, consists of 75 words, I would say, or even 50 words, I would say this, this, this paragraph is not linked together in terms of it is coherent, but cohesively it is. It is co in, in a cohesion way, it is being linked together. But in terms of what, in terms of it is co co coherent, it's not linked together. Why? Because all the information are scattered and are not related to the main topic up here, which is mean the key failure of government education policy has been its refusal to increase funding. Uh, that's about coherent, but we will expand. We will expand more in coherent in the future. Therefore, yes, I'm going to jump into the next topic, which is mean uh, it is more advice in commas because we have gone through commas, and we say yes, we need to do, to use the commas for list, and there is more than three or four topic that we have introduced last time. Therefore, we have discussed those topics and then we have like more advice in commas when you can use commas, when you don't, when you, when you can omit them, when, where, where it's not necessarily for you then to use them. Therefore, I will say that's the next topic. And then I will, I will, I will briefly explain that because I don't want to go further on that. Let me prepare the, the topic quickly. Are you there? Yes. Uh, our second topic is what is more advice on comma and bank equation conditional statements. Uh, remember, guys, uh, there is something called conditional sentences or conditional uh, in grammar. Most people know them. There is uh, the first condition and the second condition and the third condition. Everybody knows that because whenever, uh, if, if you go through the grammar, you will be told that. And we have something that's called if sentences. And the if sentences, it's not just can be used in language, but it can be used in your hypothesis, in your, uh, in your, in your mathematical knowledge, everything like that. For example, in my undergrad degree, I had to produce a model, a mathematical model in Excel. And that mathematical model I have to create something that's called section properties from the beginning. And then those section properties, if I can change them, if I can change like the variable information on them, and then those variable information, if I change them, the entire code will be changed accordingly. Because uh, those were the, the initial information that I needed to put them inside my dissertation. Therefore, I created something is called if function in Excel. And I'm not the one that who have invented it, but I'm the one that who have used it. And then I use that if sentence 
to give me something. For example, if you need like this one is greater than this one or this one is less than this one, then do this one. So you can use something is called if sentences in your Excel program. That's in, I think that is in program or whatever in other software. But here in language, we have the if. We have like a conditional thing. If this one happen, this one can happen. And if this one happen, then this one can happen. Therefore, we have this logic stuff. Many statements take form of if then or when then. So when it can be used instead of what? Of if. Such structures are called conditional statement. Other conditional statements begins with words such as should, could, where, conditional statement need to be punctuated appropriately so that the sentence does not lose clarity. And then if you can see the box below, we have if John wants to date Jenny, then he must stop drinking excessively. We see for the next example, because there is another example we can we can do we can invade or we can we can uh, we can use the non restrictive idea so we can change the sentences logic and then we have john uh, when john drinks too much then he gets drunk and disorderly should john we say we can use should and could should john ask Jenny politely then she might even consider dating him. Were John to be to were John to buy her diamonds to buy Jenny, then Jenny would surely go out with him. Okay. If we can concentrate on this on these sentences, we can see all of the examples could and can be omitted. Okay. Could be omitted because doing so will not confuse the meaning of the sentence. If you, if you take the Zen, then, then, then from each other. But what we, what we have noticed, because if the paragraph is started with if, or when, or should, or where, in a conditional statement, before you go to the second part of the conditional statement, you can put the comma. Can you notice this one after Jenny, March, politely, diamond, that is all, they're, they're all being come up afterwards. That's the logical way, the natural way of doing the conditional statement or the conditional, conditional sentence. Therefore, if John had referred, this is another example, because in, in some situation, though you might consider that it is best to include then adding the then helps the reader to process the sentence meaning more easily. If John, if 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 John had returned home right after work, which he actually did every day, then that's the way. Then he he would he would have a score of. He, he, he would have scared of the beggars. So the, beg the beggars, uh, because he, he hasn't returned on time, like as usual he did, therefore the beggars came and jumped into his house and stole his bonds. But if he came earlier as regularly, he could have, he could have what? He scared them. They could fear him, and after that, just they would, they would escape and they wouldn't come they, they wouldn't be they, they wouldn't invite themselves to intrude him or to go into his house as intruders and steal his bones. Therefore, if you can see the, the first sentences that we had, John must stop drinking excessively if he wants to date Jane. Okay, we notice something here. John gets drunk and disorderly when he drinks too much. Jenny might even consider a date, a date should John ask her politely. If you can, if you can see here, we have omit the comma 
there is no comma at all. Why? Because we have not used the if at the beginning of the sentence. We have not used when at the beginning of the sentence. We have not used should, be should uh, at the beginning of the sentence. So that's why we have omitted the comma. This is the situation where you can omit your comma. Apart from that, there is uh, more examples and more information. They will come up actually in the next meeting. And I don't want to add more from here. Just I think this is our lecture or this is our meeting. It's, uh, we're finishing up here. And uh, aiming, we will meet next time actually in a new topic in our building sentences coherent and more advice in commas in your essay writing. Until then, uh, just have, I, I have like a couple of announcements. Uh, but before that, this is a homework. And then I will organize all those information in one document. And then after that, just I'll bring them and I'll post them in our Facebook group. Therefore, whoever's following us there or whoever's there, he will be able to, to, he will be able to read through and go through what is there in conjunction with this is in conjunction with this with this uh, with this meeting or with this video you will be able then to read and understand what is going on but i will post that in our facebook group i'm not going to promise it's not going to be today but at the coming forthcoming time or at the coming uh, probably maybe one one week or more uh, the thing is just yes, i'm busy a little bit nowadays and i work hard because i got like new job and you know financially we have to be secure uh so that's why we walk and i walk in a different city it's not in manchester where i live so i walk in liverpool and i had to come every day i had to commit every day there and come back again here yeah? and it is very hard to go and come back and do your stuff and the preparation that i i take all my papers whenever just i get like a free time over there just i can read through and then after that, just I take some notes, which you can be explained in, in such meeting like that. And then from there, just I can go forward. And that's the thing, lack of time. I'm not going to pretend that I'm the busiest person in the world, but the thing is just now I've got like some necessary stuff to do. And then after that, just like um, in my free time, I can come up and do something for the benefit of our people over there, or for the benefit of our community. And then uh, specifically our members, our group members. And then therefore for, for the entire Sudanese people, we can go there and we're gonna go forward then. Because I want them, we want them to benefit from what we have learned here in the in diaspora. Because I can see it is useful and beneficial for everybody then to improve his writing skills according to the academic stuff and such stuff like that. Uh, so I've got a couple of announcements, but I will speak in Arabic. It's not going to be in English. Up to this point, I think uh, the lecture is finished. I don't know how, what time is it because I've started early. But the couple of announcements that I would like to talk about, are, I will talk about them in Arabic in particular. Uh, one of them, يعني جاتنا invitation من مجموعة يعني جديدة تكونت في السودان في جامعة الرازي والناس بتعلم منه الجامعة دي هي جامعة شنو خاصة وخصيصا يعني الشباب مهتمين بالريسيرش وجمعية يعني كونوها جديدة وعندهم الهدف بتاعهم منهم هم يعملوا يعني مثلا ينطلقوا خارج إطار الجامعة بتاعتهم ويكونوا كنموذج للجامعات الثانية إنها تقدر ترتب يعني ترتب يعني بقول شنو هو ترتب محاضرات أكاديمية على أساس إنه الناس تستفيد منها هناك في الداخل وبدايتهم بعدين بإنه يحبزوا الشباب ويتكلموا مع بقية الناس عن طريق الزوم أو عن طريق هنا يستفيدوا من الجيست لكشرز من برا السودان وانه الناس اللي تقدر تديهم شنو يقدروا يدوهم انفورميشن انف انفورميشن على اساس انه هم يعملوا بروجريس يمشوا لقدام. فجاتنا الفكره وادونا الانفيتيشن وانا حكون متحدث هناك عن في اهميه الريسيرش وعن برامج الريسيرش بصفه عامه 
وكلام عام يعني ما حيكون كلام سبيسيفيك يعني مثلا في التوبيك على سن نقدر نحبس الناس انها تقدر تمشي و تسلك نفس السلوك بتاع شنو بتاع الريسيرش ودي حاجه يعني مقيمه ومتى ما دعينا في اي مكان في اي اي مكان في العالم بنمشي بغض النظر عن اختلاف الناس ذلك جايين من يا تو باك جراوند ولا يا تو بوليتيكال مثلا بارتي ولا غيره يتضمن متى اصلا ناس انه هم دارين يعملوا البروموشن لشنو للريسيرش ايدياس في داخل شنو داخل السوسايتي بتاعنا وطالما انه دي المصلحه العامه نحن كلنا بنجيف يعني مع بعض ونحاول بقدر الامكان انه نقدر نوصل لقدام ونحاول ان نساعد يعني تستحضر بستحضر يعني مجهودات الشباب البر السودان من الحضر والدكتوراه ومن الناس اللي يعني عندهم باع كبير في مجال التعليم فكلهم بيتكلموا عن ضروره وجود الانترنت في داخل البلد يعني هو طبعا معروف على راسهم بروف علام انه الناس بتتكلم عن عن الانترنت وعن اهميه وجود الانترنت في داخل البلد على انه الناس تقدر تعكس التجارب اللي تعلمتها خارج شنو خارج البلد في دول الشتات الدياسبرا وبعدها الناس تقدر تستفيد من هناك من التجارب الموجوده دي كنماذج موجوده وكده يعني ده شيء جميل وفتح من ربنا سبحانه وتعالى لبقيه الناس والناس يعني هم كما سعيدين الناس ما حتقدر تقدر تعمل تشوف مين برا يعني ده ذاته ده جود مانجمنت كونك انك انت تعرف منو برا المتمكن في المتخصص في ماده محدده او متمكن في حاجه تقدر تجيبه وتستضيفه على سن الناس تستفيد منه عبر المنصات الموجوده داخل البلد ربما يكون ده اول انفيتيشن حصل لنا في داخل البلد بهناك باسم المنتدى بتاعنا هنا المنتدى السودان للبحوث والمعرفه ومجرد ما جاءنا الانفيتيشن احنا قبلناه وحنحاول نساهم وبالعكس مش كده كمان حتى حنفتح لهم المنصه على اساس انه يقدروا يقدموا الماده دي وينشروها في داخل منصتنا وحنساعدهم في المنصات الاخرى انه ينشروا الماده على اساس انه تكون كنواه بالنسبه للجروب ديل ويقدروا يمشوا لقدام ويقدروا شنو يخطوا الخطوات السليمه ونطلب منهم يعني ما ما يختصر الكلام ده على خرطوم فيا حبذا لو قدروا انه هم ذاتهم يكونوا كنواه وكنموذج انه ينقلوا الموضوع ده للولايات خاصه المناطق اللي فيها ضعف كبير جدا جدا سواء كان في الكهرباء في الانترنت وفي الريسيرش ذاته والمكتبات بتاعتهم تعبانه يعني احنا في سعي حسيس انه لو في طريقه الناس تقدر تحاول تعمل الفكره بتاعت مكتبه ولا حاجه زي تقدر توفر للناس كل شيء فسعيين لكن زي ما انتم شايفين الامكانيات بتاعتنا شو ضعيفه شويه ولا قدرنا نحن يعني ما قادرين نقدر نعمل حاجه على سن نقدر نساعد اكثر فبنقدر نعمل وبنقدم بس محاضرات والناس بتحاول تنصح وكده فلكن ان شاء الله نحن في صدد انه نعمل الويب سايت بتاعنا وبعد ما نعمل الويب سايت نعمل لينك للمكتبات الموجوده والمكتبات دي طبعا بيدفعوا لها قروش كثيره جدا جدا وبنشوف لو لقينا فندنج يعني نحاول بقدر الامكان نربط الناس بالمكتبات يعني دار كتب فكريه عاوز كتب في مجالاتك المختلفه في كل المجالات يعني في اللينك يعني نربط الناس باللينك بالمكتبات العالميه اذا امكن وده شغل بتاع جامعات طبعا ما شغلنا نحن لكن زي ما نحن شايلين الريسيرش كماده من المواد بتاعتنا فبنحاول بقدر الامكان نحاول سعيين للمشروع ده على انه الناس تقدر تستفيد منه ونقدم لقدام وكان في ناس يعني المنصات الثانيه طبعا لانه بتجيد الكوبي من الناس وكده والناس ما شاء الله يعني بتجيد الافكار الحلوه بتحاول تشوف انه كيف انه يطبقوها على ارض الواقع عشان الناس تستفيد اذا في ناس طبقوها كمان احنا بندعمه وبنجيف معهم سواء كانوا عاوزين ماديا سواء كانوا عاوزين مثلا افكار ولا غيره احنا بنجيف معهم برضه بنحاول نساعدهم على انه يقدروا يمشوا شنو يقدموا الموضوع ده اذا في ناس ابتدروا الموضوع ده قبلينا وبعدينا فاصلا ما ما في صدد انه نحن عندنا مشكله مع زول ولا كده فبنحاول بقدر الامكان نساعد يعني ف اقدر اقول شنو يعني الحاجه الثانيه عاوزين انه الناس دي يعني تتكاتف وتحاول يعني المساله بس ما تكون في الخرطوم في حسب يعني تنشل الولايات دي ولايه دارفور يعني الجامعات اللي فيها ممكن تكاد انها تكون بدائيه محتاجه لمكتبات محتاجه للريسيرش محتاجه لشغل كثير جدا ونحن في بدايتنا لما بدينا المنصه كان بدينا باسم دارفور وكنا قاصدين كده لكن وسعنا المجهود بتاعنا انه يشمل كل السودان وعلى اساس انه ذاته يكون في تبادل بتاع افكار لانه اذا انحصرت في اقليم واحد ما حتقدر تفيد 
يعني كل الناس ولا كده ولا كده لكن لما تعمل اكسباند للموضوع للجهات مختلفه فهو افضل بكثير جدا وزي ما شفت انه نحن غيرنا الاسم كم مره وثبتنا في منتدى السودان للبحوث والمعرفه لانه المنتدى ممكن يكون اشمل لما تقول المؤسسه المؤسسه دي حاجه يعني مملوكه حكوميا يعني ما حاجه كده مثلا تكون يعني برايفت ولا كده ولا هناك الحاجه الثانيه برضه المؤسسه ممكن قد تكون يعني غير انها هي مدعومه حكوميا لكن بتدي يعني كلمه السودانيه السوداني بتدي حاجه لكن كلمه السودان بتعني يعني معنى اشمل وعشان كده احنا بقيناها فورم اكثر مما انها هي تكون فاونديشن واكثر مما انها تكون هنا فيلا الحاجه الثانيه دار اقول شنو معلش طبعا لانه احنا انشغلنا في الفترات اللي فاتت الناس جاريه في معايش الحياه بتاعتها ودارت تعمل سكيور للوضع بتاع الفاينانشال بتاعه وكده فاختفينا شويه كده من الساحه كثير غير انه حصلت لنا تكنيكال ايشوز ومشاكل ثانيه وكده لكن يعني نوعدكم انه نحن جايين بقوه وبنرتب هو عشان انه الصيف ده الناس تقدر تستفيد منه فائده كبرى والتوقيت طبعا ممكن يتغير في نهايه الشهر ده ليل يوم 15 لغايه اخر يوم احد في 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 شهر ثلاثه التوقيت بيمشي انا دائما عندي كونفيوجن في المساله دي ما بعرف بيقدموا ولا بياخروا لكن اللي بعرفه انه لما نيجي الصيف بنكون فرق بينه وبين السودان ساعات قليله لما نيجي الشتاء الفرق بينه وبين السودان ساعات طويله ده المقياس بتاعي له فليلا انا عندي كونفيوجن كبير جدا ما قادر يعني اقدر اقوم اضبط المساله دي تقديم ولا تاخير ولا غيره يعني في المصطلح ففي نهايه المطاف يعني برضه خدنا هاجر حتواي حتواصل هو برنامج البروجرام بتاع ذاك وفي في في برامج ثانيه جايه لكن بس شويه كذا نحن صابرين حبه على السن نقدر نبدا برنامج للسكن يعني السكن بلان بتاعنا لانه نحن عملنا الفيرس بلان المنصه دشنت الامور مشت تمام نزلنا المواد الاكاديميه بعد كده يلا السكن بلان لانه عندنا البلان بتاعنا ثاني في حاجات كثيره جدا والحمد لله شاحل لاحظنا انه نحن مجرد ما بدينا في بقينا يعني كنموذج كويس جدا لمنصات ثانيه انها بقت ذات يعني تقدم البروجرام بالانجليزي تقدم البروجرام لانه جبنا الايديا والحمد لله يعني شاف الناس استفادت من الافكار وفي في ناس كثيره جدا استفادوا من الموضوع ده ومشوا لاحظوا المنصات يعني الثانيه يعني الحاجه اللي احنا بنعملها بتجي تلقى انه هم لانه عندهم النولج وعندهم الامكانيه ممكن يعملوا لها ديفلوب بطريقه افضل من بتاعتنا ويقوموا يقدموها لكن زي ما بقول على نحن يعني بيس اون الريسيرش وبيس اون الحاجات الريليتد الريسيرش ريليتد تو الريسيرش بنحاول نخدم فيها وبنحاول نشوف انه اللي بيحصل شنو اللي قدام لغايه ما تتوفر علينا نحن الموز... نتوسع اكثر والناس تحاول تعمل حاجه كبيره جدا وتقدر تتوسع واحتمال لو لقينا دعومات لنفس لغايه الان الدعومات بمقدمه لكن ما ما شلناها من زول اللي هي دائما من الاصدقاء من الجماعه اي واحد بيكون داري يساهم وكذا لكن الزول اللي بيساهم معك بقولوش بيكون بيفرض عليك اجندته وداري يمشيك على راحته او انشر لي دعايه عمل لي برنامج ونحن ما ما دارين نكون ناس يعني اي زول يتبزك بالماده ولا كذا فنحن عاوزين نقدم ماده على سنة تقدر تعمل شنو تغيير في داخل مجتمعنا بطريقه ما والناس تقدر تستفيد من موادنا اللي احنا بنقدمها دي واللي قدام الناس تشوف يعني واي زول لقيناه مثلا من اصحاب الشان او زول مثلا يقدر يقدم لنا المجتمع اللي قدام بنحاول نستضيفه ويجي يقدم لنا محاضره وكذا فالمحاضرات هي حتجي لكن ممكن قد تكون ما بنفس الوتيره بتاعت اسبوعيا لانه ما متوفر لنا كل الجست كل المحاضرين مثلا في مجموعه كبيره جدا في السودان في ناس يعني ما سلط لهم الضوء وما ادوهم الفرص المنصات الثانيه زي ما انتم شايفين انا انتقبت المساله دي قبل كده وفي جزء منهم زعلوا وكده لكن دار ابو يعني يزعل وما يزعل دي حاجه بتخصهم لكن المهم في الامر انه في ناس مهمين جدا في داخل السودان المنصات ما قاعده تديهم فرصه انهم يظهروا ويقدروا ينشروا العلم بتاعهم كويس ده نمره واحد، نمره اثنين المشكلة احنا بنلقاها من الناس بقادة هناك لأنه الإنترنت ما متوفر لهم بطريقة، أنت ما تقدر تدعم زول عشان تقدر تقوم تقوي له الإنترنت بتاعه على سن أنه تقدر تقدم يقدم لك حاجة أو يقدم توبيك، فدي دي, دي شوية كده صعبة شديد جدا جدا، أنا لسه أنا عندي استديو وأقوم أعمل انفيتيشن للناس هناك في الاستديو ويجوا في الاستديو ويقوموا يستضيفوهم وكده، لكن صعب شديد جدا جدا دي إمكانية عالية. وزي ما شايفين يعني افراد لما يقوموا يجتهدوا يعملوا حاجه ودارين يقدموا حاجه لقدام ما معناه انه لازم انك انت بتقوم شنو بتقوم لازم تكون عندك الامكانيات الكبيره على سن انك انت تقدر تعملها فدي نحن بنسميها المسلمات وما ممكن يعني هو زي ليف كونديشنز انه لازم يتوفر ده عشان ده يحصل وده غلط 
يعني انت ابدا بالبسيطه اللي عندك وتطور لمرور الزمن، شوف المنصات الثانيه اللي تطورت دي ممكن لها 11 سنه في واحده لها مثلا من 2008 ففي منصات كثيره جدا يعني شغاله ولها زمن طويل ولقت مساعدات يعني من الجامعات الخارجيه، لقت مساعدات من الجهات اللي هم فيها والاشتراكات اللي هم بيدفعوها وغيره. يعني لانه نحن اليوم اللي ممكن ما نكون عندنا الثقافه بتاعت الاشتراكات دي. لانه الا جروب يكون مستنير او متعلم تعليم عالي حتى ثاني يقدر يقدر يعمل الحاجات دي، لكن قليل جدا الناس اللي بتعمل شنو؟ بتعمل مساله الاشتراكات وتحاول بقدر الامكان تعمل ديفلوبمنت البروجرام بتاع لكن بالمقابل في ناس يعني بيروا انه انا من جيبي انا اقتطع من اجل اجل المصلحه العامه ومن اجل من اجل الناس ورا بينك على سنه الناس تستفيد وزي ما شفتوا انتم المنصه قدمت حاجات كثيره جدا في الفتره اللي فاتت احنا ما تمينا سنه ما تمينا سنه انتم خطوا في بالكم ان احنا ما تمينا سنه شهر خمسه جاي بنتم سنه يا دوبنا قبل ما نتم سنه الحمد لله المنصه قدمت حاجات كثيره قدمت الكورسات المجانيه بتاعت الايلس وقدمت البروجرام بتاع الريسيرش وقدمت البروجرام يا هو بتاع ال 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 بقول شنو الجاست ليكشرز الجايين من برا الاستضافات وقدمنا هو البرنامج الاجتماعي اللي بتقدمه الاستاذ الاعلاميه هاجر وعندنا برامج ثانيه جايه بس حنا لله في وقتها برضه وديك بتجي برامج قد تكون فكريه قد تكون شنو في السياق ال 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 بقول شنو هو ال 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 بقول شنو الاكاديمي برضه لانه ما دارين نمشي فار خارج الاكاديميات كل المواضيع اللي احنا بنناقشها دارين تتناقش في اطر شنو؟ في الاطار بتاع داخل شنو؟ داخل البيت الاكاديمي خارج ما ما نخرج بعيد منها ونستصحب معنا علم الاجتماع او الدراسات الاجتماعيه لانه الهدف الاساسي هو تغيير في المجتمع والشغل اللي احنا دارين نشتغل نملك المجتمع حقائق سواء كان حقائق اكاديميه سواء كان حقائق علميه لانه احنا مرتكزين من الحيتين دل من العلم ومن شنو من من المعرفه الابستمولوجي فعاوزين انه الناس يعني ابستمولوجيا كده انه الناس تقدر تتثقف وتعرف الحاصل وتعرف انها تمشي فورورد كيف فشفنا في الفترات اللي فاتت يعني الشعب السوداني انفتح باللايفات وعملوا حاجات كثيره جدا افادت يعني جزء منها وضرت جزء منها فالاعلام المنفتح الشديد يعني عمل انفيتيشن للعنصريه والعنصريه المضاده والاعلام الما مهذب الما مقيد وحريته زايده عن اللزوم فتح يعني باب بتاع هيتريت يعني كراهيه كبيره جدا بتبين مكونات الشعب السوداني وما معنى ان احنا نقعد نلوم بس كله في الحكومات لكن نحن فينا شغل في المجتمع محتاجين نشتغله في داخل السوسايتي بتاعنا على اساس انه نقدر نصل للامم يعني نصل زي الامم الثانيه المتقدمه دي فكثرت عليكم الكلام وإذا في أي حاجة بنحاول نعلي لها في زمنها والناس بتحاول لنا فلا يمد نحن مشغولين فاعذرونا شديد سواء كان أنا ولا الأستاذ محمد زروق ولا الأستاذة هاجر وبقية الكوكب الثانية اللي شغالة خلف الكواليس معنا الناس كلها مشغولة وجارية وكذا وزي ما أنتم شفتوا كوفيد يعني وقف الناس كثيرا جدا من الناحية بتاعت الماليات وال فمحتاجين إنه نحن شوية كده نعمل توب أب يعني على اساس انه نقدر برامجنا ذات تقدر تمشي لقدام نشتري باقي المعدات زي ما انتم شايفين التصوير بتاعنا تصوير بدائي خالص خالص وزي ما شايفين يعني حاجاتنا يعني بسيطه جدا جدا ما الحاجه اللي بقولها على ذيك لكن ان شاء الله لقدام الامور تمشي على ما يرام ونشوف اللي بيحصل شنو ان شاء الله وكده يعني فدمتم في رعايه الله وربنا يوفقكم ان شاء الله فانا اتمنى يعني من الاخوه اللي شغالين في الكنترول ناس اوباما وبقيه الناس الثانيين انه الكلام اللي انا قلته بالعربي ده يا حبذا لو قاموا فصلوه من الجزء بتاع الجزئيه بتاعت ال 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 بيسموها شنو الجزئيه بتاعت ال ال الجزئيه بتاعت الاكاديميك رايتنج اللي انا اتكلمت عنها جبال واتمنى ان شاء الله ان شاء الله الموضوع ده يكون يعني مختلف يعني والناس تحاول تطلع بس بالماده بتاعت الاكاديميك اللي هي كانت في 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 ايجاز كده ممكن تكون 30 دقيقه او حاجه زي دي يعني ما ما نكتر يعني مشكورين على حسن الاستماع والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ونلتقي بكم كده ان شاء الله في المرات الجايه في طوبك جديد